Chase Bank's announcement Recently, Chase Bank made an announcement regarding a new exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar. This news has caught the attention of the international exchange market. It signifies potential shifts in currency valuations and economic implications. Investors and observers are closely monitoring developments related to the Iraqi dinar amidst these changes. Prime Minister al Sudanis stance Prime Minister Mohammed al Sudani emphasized the necessity of dialogue with various entities, including the U.S. Treasury, the Civil Bank, and the Transnational Financial Fund. He stressed that reforming the banking sector is essential for any development efforts. Al Sudani also highlighted the need to continue discussions with the U.S. Federal Reserve and other transnational fiscal institutions. Budget correction law and stable exchange rate upon the delegations returned from the United States the budget correction law will be transferred to Parliament. This law aims to address issues related to hiring. Notably, some employees have never been paid due to the lack of a stable exchange rate. al Sudanis' plan is to implement a new exchange rate, which is critical for ensuring timely payments to these employees. While the potential for significant changes exists, it remains uncertain whether this will lead to a devaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Meeting with J.P. Morgan Chase CEO during a visit to Washington, D.C., Prime Minister Al Sudani met with Mr. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. Their discussions centered around the government's efforts to implement fiscal and banking reforms. The goal is to revitalize Iraq's economy and achieve development. Additionally, plans were made to improve the state-owned banking sector by collaborating with leading transnational consulting firms specializing in banking reform. Encouraging private banks was also part of the agenda. Stay informed, and let's keep an eye on how these developments unfold.